Hey guys, good morning. I'm using my DSLR at the moment because that's the one I have right now. Uh, I'm near the water, as you can see. Look at that view. Look at that sunrise. Pull my tent is over here. Yeah, there it is. My tent. I'm sure it's a little windy. I'm going to pick up camp and uh, start riding. <laughs> So the campground actually turned out to be free. <laughs> no one came to my camp to uh, get my money. I'm on my way to Stavanger. Maybe a ferry today, I don't know. Um, we are gonna go over lots of bridges today, that's true. We'll see. back again even though it's sunny and nice but the wind is blowing in my face headwind all the time the plan is to uh, take a bus from Stavanger to Stockholm and I don't know if there are any direct connections between the two I'll probably have to go via Oslo because it's basically you know on the on the route so I'll first take a bus from Stavanger to Oslo and then Oslo to Stockholm and then a ferry to Finland. We'll see how, uh, how things will work out if the bike is even allowed on the bus, which I don't know. I just know that the bus is the cheapest option. I could also go by train. Then you pay like 200 bucks for here to Stockholm. So that's like a last resort thing. Oh no, the, the last resort thing is cycling to Stockholm, but it's like a last, last resort. pretty interesting it's uh, not fjordy I mean I don't see fjords the uh, mountains are a little bit lower it's still steep though it's, it's basically kind of like a wild camping Valhalla <laughs> like in the fjords if you wanted to wild camp you really had to go up maybe even on top of the fjord in order to find a flat spot in the woods to camp I think it's not that hilly because we're closer to the coast right now we're like pretty much right next to it but there are lots of islands off the coast that uh, are to the uh, are to the right of us So there is bridge number one that I went over, bridge number two, and this is bridge number three. And right now I'm going into a tunnel. I think that's about it for the bridges for now. As you can see, we end the day again with the ferry. This time it's a short one, I think just 20 minutes. So, uh, quite nice. It's already almost five o'clock, so I hope to find a camp place when we land on the other side of the water. This is the second ferry on this leg of the trip. 
We're gonna have one more, which is from Netstrand all the way to the close to the city of Stavanger itself. So that basically is the end of the Norway part of the trip. From Stavanger, I'll take a bus to uh, to Sweden to Stockholm, where I'll plan to stay for a day or two, and then after that another ferry to uh, to country number geez, six. Country number six. I think it's six to uh, Finland. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've heard that Finland is flat, which is very nice. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the mountains are beautiful, but it gets tiring. Hey guys, a little of a panic moment over here, frustration. I try, I'm trying to find a place to camp. And I thought, you know, it, it is flat, it is not hilly or anything, you know, it will be easy, but I mean, I just tried to step in this grass and it's like almost half a meter down and it's wet in there. My shoe, well, this one is not wet, but look at that, like I just stepped somewhere in some grass and it was all muddy and it was like quicksand almost. And I'm trying to find this place to camp and I cannot find it. You know, the nearest campground is maybe like 20 kilometers. And I think I have to do it because there's nothing here. Like there are houses on the only places where you can camp. And it's just frustrating. I can also ask someone. I don't know, maybe maybe there's warm showers. Probably not though. It's just nothing, all right. Just these houses, like this is a path, this is actually private property. So I'm gonna get out of here as quick as I can. Try to get somewhere, but I, th I think I have to go all the way to this place called Haugerussund which is quite far away but there is a campground in town there and that's I think the only thing I can do like if I find something on the way then I'll do it but this is just crappy this is really bad like for the rest it's just bushes and I can't put my tent on that or rocks I don't want to put my tent on rocks so I think I'll just keep driving hopefully I'll get somewhere alright guys I found a place I, I'm actually quite lucky that I found this place because I haven't seen anything of this around here it's just, you know, there's the road right there. So every, everybody can see me pretty much. Um, this is my tent right here. So I can see the road. They can see me. I can see them basically. <laughs> Which is, uh, I mean, it's it's not a busy road. There's no one around right now. Um, there you can see some lights. Those are some houses. And this is just a patch of, land, patch of grass here with some cut down tree remnants. Yeah, the grass is a little bit uh, smushy, a little bit wet. But where my tent is standing is actually quite nice, so I think I think this is a good spot. Um, tonight I'm gonna make some plans, you know. I don't even know like if I'm gonna hit the city of Stavanger tomorrow. I have to take a huge ferry for it, which also goes into the Fjords area, which is quite nice. And, you know, tomorrow is Sunday. So I don't even know if it goes on Sunday. I really hope it does. Otherwise I'll make it the day after tomorrow, but uh, we'll have to see about that. Anyways, I'm gonna put my bike close to my tent. Probably right behind it, lay it down so no one uh, can really see it, and uh, yeah, cook some dinner because I'm freaking hungry. So tonight I'm having pasta sauce with noodles. <laughs> it's kind of a weird combination, doesn't look too bad. But you know, when, when you're traveling by bike you really need to improvise sometimes, you know. I had a big pack of noodles that I had from uh, Bergen that I used just one you know, a thing of, and I still have three of them. And I also had this pasta sauce, and I was like, don't want to carry too much food, so I just threw it in together, and here it is. <laughs> Another thing that I want to, I think, I haven't had any questions about this yet, but if you want to know what I do in my tent at night, um, right now I was going to upload a video on my laptop, and it's like the video is pretty much already on YouTube. I just have to click publish, or I have to put it from, it's in private right now. Uh, and then I have to put it to public and then publish it. But there is no service here, or not a whole lot. I could text my mom just a minute ago, but then it went out of service again. So uh, it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. Uh, another thing that I wanna do is my finances. You know, what I spent today, I think I also didn't write down the spendings from yesterday, so I'll also do that. Um, oh, that's right, I haven't done any finance updates. Oh, that's right. Totally forgot about those, I'm sorry guys. I can give you one tonight because I don't know the exact amount that I spent. 
because you know the exchange exchange rate changes every now and then and uh, my ex expenses gets processed a few days after I did them on my phone so I can see what it actually was in euros and not in Norwegian crowns I think I'll do one separate video on my expenses and stuff later uh, maybe when I get back home or maybe in Stavang or something, I don't know, I'll, you'll see about that. And other than that, like, when I have service, I usually watch YouTube videos. Um, always while munching on some chocolate as a dessert. Um, when I don't have service, which actually happened only once before, which was in the Hardanger Vida, you know, high on the mountain plateau. And then I just listen to audio podcasts, which I also like to do when I'm riding. Not too much, but sometimes, you know, when the ride is a little, you know, boring and I'm not really into it and I like to listen to an audio podcast. Right now I'm in the Zero to Travel audio podcast. It's quite famous. It's all about travel, basically. And uh, I like travel. I get inspiration for other places to go to and stuff like that. And uh, he also has some bicycle touring podcasts about people that bicycle tour around the world. So, uh, yeah, that's quite fun. And for the rest, yeah, I just... Normally I watch a lot of YouTube videos, um, you know, I subscribe to a few YouTube channels. Also Bicycle Tours, by the way. Not all of them, but most of them. And yeah, that's basically what I do. And I sleep a lot, like 9 hours, 10 hours. I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you did. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Yum yum.